Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this video, I want to share with you a simple PCB I have designed to make it easier to control the popular WS2812B addressable LEDs. I am planning to convert a spare room into a new recording slash gaming room. So this PCB is going to be very helpful for all the 3D printed signs that's going to be in a room since it will require a lot of LEDs to be controlled. I was inspired when watching this video on Billy Billy where they decorated their setup with a lot of 3D printed signs which will require a lot of LEDs. This PCB will allow you to connect 6 different LED strips and we can either control it with the Raspberry Pi Pico or the Pico W or using a D1 Mini which is based on an ESP8266. This will allow us to use WLED which is an easier way to control the LED strips without the hassle of needing to write any code. Note that WLED only supports a maximum of 3 strips when using the ESP8266. There are also two buttons if I need to switch between different colors and pins that will allow you to connect a Bluetooth module if needed. The PCB was designed in Easy EDA and I plan to make another version to include an LCD for better control. The Gerber file for this PCB is available on my website. You can find the link to my website in the description. I ordered the PCBs from the one and only JLC PCB who is the sponsor of this channel. JLC PCB provide high quality PCBs which I have used for all my projects. JLC PCB has special offers throughout the year. Currently JLC PCB has a promotion on 6 layer PCB which include features like free via in pad which will allow you to create more complex PCBs with high precision. A link to this video in the description. So sign up to JLC PCB using the link in the description when ordering your first PCB. The components needed are the SCAF301 connectors and female header pin for a Pico or D1 Mini and two 12x12mm push buttons. After soldering a few components, we can then connect a microcontroller to the board. Let's first take a look at the Raspberry Pi Pico. Connect your Pico to the computer and make sure you have MicroPython installed. If you are new to the Raspberry Pi Pico, then go watch this video on my channel. On my website, copy this new Pixel library and then paste it in a new file in Fonny and save it to your Pico as newpixel.py. Now copy the template code, paste this also in a new file and let's quickly go through the code together. We import the new Pixel module providing the ability to control individual LEDs on the strip. We then predefine RGB values for a set of colors. This function initializes the LED strips. It takes three arguments, the number of LEDs of each strip, the LED indexes, so which GPIO pins is used, and also the specified brightness of the LEDs. We then have a function to change the color of each LED strip. This function takes three arguments. In the final section of the code, the number of LEDs for each strip and their indexes are defined. We initialize the strip and then we set the brightness level then we call the control each strip function to set the color of each LED strip. And that in short is how the code works. Running this code, we get the following results. On this connector, you can connect your 5 volt voltage, which will power the Pico and also power the LED strip. We also have then these buttons, which we can program to control the LEDs, but a second version with an LCD screen would be a lot better. I have not used the Bluetooth pins, but in the future I will make a more detailed video on this. Now for the D1 Mini, we will use WLED. Just go to the website, connect to your D1 Mini and install WLED. You will then set up the Wi-Fi and then you can visit the device. You're going to have to set up the three GPIO pins, which will be GPIO 2, 4 and 5. You have to set the number of LEDs connected to each GPIO pin. And then we can go add segments to control the different LEDs. Now, if you wanted to, you can control one strip and half of another strip, or you can just control each strip individually by remembering how many LEDs there is. So you have to indicate where does it start and also where does it end. So running this code, we can see we have three different strips with three different colors. We can then easily go and change each segment. WLED also has a lot of effects that you can use. 
I hope you found this video helpful and for more similar videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you in the next video.